morning and thank you for joining me on Delicious by Debbie. <clears throat> Today I'm getting ready to make a chocolate cake, homemade chocolate. It's a recipe of my mother, Christmas tree cake out of this. And I will show you how I do that. But for right now, we're gonna make the cake. It's called a Western fudge cake. So I've got my mixer here and I've got, I need three fourths of a cup of butter. Okay, and I need, what's on this dish too, to make it three-fourths of a cup. And I need two cups of sugar. Okay, two cups of sugar. And I want one and a half teaspoons of vanilla and Tupperware, old Tupperware measuring spoons have a one and a half teaspoon measure and that's what this is. So one and a half teaspoon and three eggs. And there are the three eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this. I will not leave it on the whole time and upset someone who doesn't like to hear it. And we'll just go ahead and mix this. mixed up real good and nice and smooth. I'm going to put a half of a cup of cocoa in it now, baking cocoa. Start this out slow. Now that the chocolate's mixed really well, I have a uh, measuring cup here that has three cups of flour in it. And to the flour, I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of soda, baking soda. and three-fourths of a teaspoon of salt. And I want to mix that up. Okay, now I am going to add this into the chocolate, into the cake mix, a little bit at a time, alternating with a cup and a half of ice water. And this is very cold, I put ice cubes in it cup and a half of ice water. So I'll put a little bit of this in and I'll put some of the cold water in and we'll mix it. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the flour and some of the ice water. And we'll just keep mixing. Okay, that is ready for the oven. I have the oven set to uh, 350 and I'm gonna bake it for 35 minutes and then check it. The cake that I baked to make the uh, Christmas tree cake is done and cool. And I wanna show you what I do to it next before I let it freeze. This is a little bit high. So all I do is take a nice serrated knife and just kind of Cut off some of that on top to make it a little more even. This is a heavy cake. A lot of homemade cakes are. Okay, so I measured from here to here on the top and put a little line there and that's the middle. And I wanna come from the middle down to here. I'm going to go ahead and cut through this. down to there, and then from this side. Okay. Now all I'm going to do with this for now, as you can see, I will put these two pieces together to make the next layer and leave this like it is. I'm gonna take this out to my chest tight freezer and I'm gonna let it freeze until this cake is good and solid. I would show you how I color my coconut because I want some green coconut to decorate part of the tree, Christmas tree with. And so my coconut is frozen, but I'm gonna put a little bit in here, but I just like to color it with a little bit of green food coloring. And I just put it in a Ziploc bag. And this is not a lot of coconut, so I think I'll just use two dots, two drops of, and then I just shake it. 
flip it around and there's the green coconut. Okay, the cake that I made and shaped into a Christmas tree, here it is. I put it together and I put some toothpicks in and pushed them down in a couple different places. I'll tell them before they eat it that there's toothpicks in it. So now I'm ready and I have the frosting left from when I did the cookies yesterday. I made it on purpose. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some of this on. Like I told you before, it's so much easier to decorate the cake, ice it if it's frozen. So this is still frozen. Now I'm not going to be real careful about making sure all this icing is nice and smooth and all that because it should look rustic. I know how to make it smooth and I've done cakes before, but this is one I don't worry about. I could not find anything to use for a star at the top and I like a tree topper. So I'm gonna leave these Hershey Kisses wrapped. So that'll be our tree top. I have the Christmas sprinkles that are tree lights. So I'm gonna put a few of those on. Okay. And I have some little itty bitty stars, green and red and white. So I'm gonna put a few of those around. I'm throwing some of these at the side of it. Since I couldn't find anything to do for the trunk of the tree, I got some Snickers fun size bars that I am going to put right on the bottom there to make it look like, I think I'll double them. Okay, so there we are. Our Christmas tree cake. I hope you'll try it some.